Drama, drama, drama last night on The Bachelorette. I mean, it's what we've come to expect from Bad Boy Chad. Bad Boy Chad. Bad Boy Chad. <laughs> Every guy here seems to be obsessed with JoJo already. Y'all aren't worried about the fact that you're gonna sing a song to a girl that y'all have like known for less than like a day? Nope. No. no. I have no, no worries. Don't worry. It's all. just gonna be fun. These guys are just acting like really old, worn out looking high school kids. How a Chad deals with women. Hey. Hey. What's your name? Chad. Chad? Yeah. Hi, Chad. And more specifically, we're actually going to dive into a guy named Chad who became famous apparently on season 12 of The Bachelorette. So we're watching Chad from The Bachelorette and how he interacts with women and even just how he interacts with others around him. And this is a shout out to my man, Michael. You know who you are. He gave me the idea for this uh, video. Thank you, Michael. And let's break down the Chad. I'm Chad. 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 Buddies with Chad. Here's Chad. 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 I feel like Chad. 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 This is Chad. Chad Bear. Chad Bear, yeah. Chad is here. It's Chad's here. Every moment without Chad. 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 And then there was Chad. Hurricane Chad. So this is what we would call the Alpha Seed, a Chad or Tyrone. Think of the alpha seeds as the men that fulfill her most basic instincts of survival and reproducing. So a man with good genes for breeding, looks and height, a man that could save her from enemies, muscles and strength, a man that could raise her social status, a celebrity who has high social IQ or intelligence. Whatever guy like me stole your girlfriend or whatever, it wasn't me. On the flip side, what we see a lot in The Bachelorette is a bunch of beta men. So the beta needs guy, the hairy, the minkuses of the world. Yeah. One of my homeboys just having some fun. And right now in my head, I'm just imagining it was one on one. Like I'm surrounded by children. Like watching West Side Story, like a bunch of dudes just like <laughs> surrounding me, man. Think of the Betamon needs guy is feeding her non-sexual wants and desires. This is a man that will worship her because he'll give her security that he won't leave her. A man that can provide financially gives her financial security. And a man that can be a caring father or husband, it gives her security for her long-term family prospects. Typically, by the way the Bachelorette is set up, where there's all these men competing after one woman, it's going to attract a lot of beta men because they're willing to play this game. That is why it's interesting when you get a Chad in the mix. Three of us don't have dates this week. You've gone a full life of not seeing JoJo. You can't wait a couple, like a day. Like, you can chill. She'll be here. She's not going to disappear next week. She's not going to get on a jet and fly away to Malaysia. Him pointing out those logical, reasonable things, it's like shocking. He gets labeled as the villain, of course, when he says stuff like that. But it's, think about it. He's just like, how, you guys don't even know this girl. Why are you getting so flustered over a girl you don't even know? It's just a girl. All these guys just trying to compete for JoJo and falling over each other, making fools of themselves. I'm not impressed. It's it's a parade of losers. God, they're going to write so many more songs. They're going to write poems. Yes, this right here is one of the biggest problems I have with The Bachelorette. One of the bad lessons that men learn from watching The Bachelorette or hearing about The Bachelorette is they get this habit to do whatever it takes to get her attention. Because they're competing after with so many other different guys for this one woman, they believe that they have to do whatever it takes so they don't lose their chance. But the problem is, the harder you try to impress her, the more she doubts you and wonders, why is he trying so hard to impress me? This is a, this is a kilt. Jo, 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 jo. Must ask you a question. I have no idea. I have nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> My God bless America. Probably go on some day. 
then it comes off like you're overperforming. You're being phony. You're not being authentic. You're not being real because you're trying, trying, trying to impress her. Chad points this out in this next clip. I think a lot of these guys, maybe they're not um, being themselves, you know? I always say, Watch stay away from the nice, nice guys. I, I totally agree. But in the end, I'm actually nice. Yeah, no, I It's totally the nice guys who are actually the I'm They got a plan you know? behind those eyes. What were all the things that you love about me? I don't, I don't know yet. <laughs> I mean, these guys can all tell you all the different things that they love about you and they've studied about you on TV or whatever, but I don't know, you know? I know you're beautiful. You can't be in love with her. Like, if you are, that's weird. It wants to stop you from falling in love with the next girl that immediately walks up. I'm the only one now, looking back, that was honest. That's a great point. These guys that are so quick to worship women, the guys that will, will deliver her flowers at work after a date, or he'll, you know, check in, hey, it was such a great time, you're such an amazing girl, and they just give her all these compliments. I get it, we're brainwashed to grow up thinking that's what you're supposed to do. But just like he said, in reality, when you think of psychology, if a woman just met a man and he is already so quick after one night of conversation to be like, you're so amazing, oh my gosh, you're wonderful, or like guys like this that are falling in love when they have spent almost no time with this woman, they've just built her up in their head, just like he said, what is stopping that guy from falling for the very next girl that gives him any attention? The, the nice guy, when we say it like that, comes across as so inauthentic because human nature is like, why are you being so nice to me? Why? It doesn't make sense. You don't even know who I am. That can become frustrating to women because they're like, if you are acting like this, like I'm some amazing, a wonderful person, and then in her mind, think of all that pressure she has to live up to this image that she definitely knows she's not, and red pill men know she's not. But the blue pill men that build these women up to be these perfect angels, think of that pressure you have to live up to. And girls know it's all fake. Girls know that no woman is like that. Honestly, I don't even want to go. I'd rather you guys go do your thing and then just get a one-on-one -on -one later. I don't want to go with 12 guys. No, that's too many guys. Chad broke a man code last night, and I just want to like mess with him. I don't know, like I get this mischievous feeling. Apparently in that, I think in that scenario when he doesn't want to go he's like i'd rather you guys just go and i'll get my one-on-one -on -one time with her later it's like they were gonna go i think sing to her like serenade her or dance for her. one of those stupid competitions where you have to compete and look like a child in front of the woman which lowers your value and he's just like no nah, i don't even want to go i'd rather you guys go have your fun i'll hang out with her later when it's you know on, on my time that's a total Chad move. He's not budging. I I like that. I respect this guy. You got bleeding, crying, sensitive guy with kids, and then you got scared of people, sensitive guy. This guy's over here doing yoga. Evan is just pouring blood out of his nose. Is that her? Yep. Is that you, Chad? I was, Chad? Like, I was 100 feet away. So I don't know what's going on with him. Apparently, Evan just bleeds thinking about me. So my whole thing was like, if you had any interest in Evan, like, what am I doing here? Obviously, we are like, we're just completely opposite ends of the spectrum. You know what I mean? Like, you want ice cream or you want steak? Hey. Hi. Can I grab her for a second? Okay. Bye. That's so funny. He's, he's being real. He's just like, seriously, what are you doing? It doesn't make sense if you're going to have me and him because we're polar opposites. So my whole thing was like, if you had any interest in Evan, like, then what am I doing here? Obviously, we are like, we're just completely opposite ends of the spectrum. You know what I mean? Like, you want ice cream or you want steak? He's basically saying, I'm an alpha. This guy is the most beta, beta mon pussy boy. So this doesn't make sense. If I'm not your type, fine. But why would you have two such opposite guys? That makes zero sense. That's what he's conveying right there. That's so funny. Evan's a really nice guy. Evan's a really nice guy. It's not easy trying to decide who I give the rose to, but I hope you all know that I appreciate each one of you guys. And Evan, will you accept this rose? Yes, I will totally accept this. <laughs> Are you good? No, is this real? Is this a real scenario right now? You're actually right now vibing this dude. No girl on planet Earth ever chooses Evan 
for anything other than to come like sweep their front yard. Man, I, I want to go back and watch this season now just to see the social dynamics. But <laughs> Chad's like, no, this is not real. Chad's like, you're, I know how this game works. You're not going to go for the beta mon. You, you're not actually attracted to this guy. You're actually right now vibing this dude. No girl on planet Earth ever chooses Evan for anything other than to come like sweep their front yard. Now, as we talk about the alphas and, and beta stuff, remember this timeline, how this plays out is that she wants to experience all the alphas in her early years during her most valuable time. Then she expects to settle with a beta mon when she can no longer compete for the looks and attention with younger women during her declining years. In this right here, this timeline, to spoil it for you guys from season 12, Chad did not win. So on one hand, you might look at this and go, well, the Chad didn't get the girl. But when you think about the situation of The Bachelorette, they're doing it for TV. They're doing it for all the women watching that are hopeful romantics, hoping they'll find their beta mon. And when The Bachelorette herself is usually a woman that has had a bunch of bad luck after being ran through over and over and over again. So the situation with The Bachelorette is those women are already going for the beta mon. They've had all the alphas. They've experienced all that. Now they're looking to settle down with a good man to worship her. So that's just for anyone that was going to be like, well, the Chad didn't win. It's like, yeah, but in, you know, 99 times out of 100, if it wasn't in this scenario, this show, when she could choose between a Chad and a beta mon, she's going to choose the Chad. All right, guys. So I... uh openly admit I could have missed a lot of things because I did not watch this season. I just saw this highlight clip and I watched a few other of these little clips of him. What do you guys think of Chad here? Does he fit what your perception would be of a Chad? Remember, Chads can come in different shapes and sizes. Yes, it helps if you're six foot something and muscular and all that, but it's the the mindset, the attitude, the... uh the energy around it that really makes a Chad. Don't forget, subscribe. Like, comment, share the video. Definitely subscribe.